Hello, this is Dr. Don, and I would like to talk to you about how to make use of uh, our pretest page here. So this is uh, rocketmath.com forward slash pretest. Uh, you can also find it by looking for pretests in our uh, search bar, pretest, and it will bring you to this page. Uh, does a student really need rocket math? So um, this page has uh, everything you need, but um, you need to follow how uh, the order in which to do things. So uh, when you're giving a test to students uh, uh, of their math facts, they cannot write any fast. They cannot answer any faster than they write. This is a very key thing to understand. So, um, so the first thing you have to do is test their writing speed. So you can uh, print out, you just click here, print out the writing speed test. And it looks like this. And they just write the number that is in the corner of each box. So they just write the number in the box, 23, 7, 28, and so on. You time them for one minute for 60 seconds and see how many of these boxes they can fill. Now, if their uh, numbers are completely illegible, I would, uh, you know, not count them. Uh, only ones that you can really understand what they are. Uh, but you want them to go as, as fast as they can uh, for one minute. And basically, they can't answer any faster than they can write. So this is what you do first. Give them this test, um, see how many boxes they fill, and then set that aside. And you're going to begin assessing the uh, each operation separately. Now, uh, if they're very, very slow, um, and they have a lot of trouble, you might want to print out the numeral writing pretest. Uh, we have a numeral writing program called Rocket Writing for Numerals. And if they have uh, a lot of problems uh, with dysgraphia, they may need this. So this pretest uh, first has the students trace numbers. Uh, if they're older, you may not need to do that. And then they write the numerals 0 through 9 over 20 lines. They should be able to write numbers small enough to fit there. And if they can do that, then do a timing. And they should be able to put the numerals 0 through 9 over uh, these lines. Uh, so uh, do it four times. Um, that is 40 digits in a minute. And that is the really what they should be able to do to um, <clears throat> succeed with rocket writing, with rocket math facts. So you can use this as a pretest. And uh, you just click on it and print it out and um, then uh, have them do that. Uh, this is very easy. You could try it yourself. It takes uh, 20 to 30 seconds to write all those digits in. So if that takes them more than a minute, then they uh, need this program. So that's a test you can do if you think um, that's an issue. All right. Now, going to addition facts. Um, first, start with the addition facts. One minute. Uh, again, you click on that. You can print this out. Uh, it comes two pages, one with answers for you um, if you need it. And um, they're going to write answers to these for a minute. So again, you time them, uh, you give them a pencil, get them ready. Um, it's recommended to turn the page over upside down. And then um, when you say go, they turn the page over and begin writing. That way you're sure they don't start uh, early. See how many problems they can answer in one minute. Now, how do you evaluate this? Well, you evaluate it based on, so go back here, you bet uh, using the evaluation chart. So you're going to click on this and print it out. Um, this is for the pretest. So you look at uh, the row, find the row for how many boxes they filled in in the pretest. And then I would just use a highlighter or something and highlight that entire row. And then you can look at the uh, number of facts that they answered on their test 
and see what they need. So let's say a student has, uh, let's make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. Um, let's say that a student uh, completed, um, I don't need that help right here. A uh, student completed 25, filled 25 boxes, okay? Then the, um, then you look at the test. And, um, put this over. So 25 boxes, they fill 25 boxes. If they do 19 in a minute, then um, they're weak. In other words, if they can fill in 25 boxes and they only answer 19 problems in a minute or less, then they are weak and they need fax work and addition. If they can do uh, 20 to 22 boxes, that's good. The fax, uh, fax work wouldn't hurt them. Um, and then if you go over here, if they do 23 or more uh, on the test compared to the writing speed test, uh, then they're strong in that area. They don't need work on that. Now, let's go back. So you're going to print out that evaluation chart so that you can look at each of these tests and tell. Now, um, when students get in uh, fourth grade and above, um, they are definitely needing multiplication facts in math, and this has priority. So triage, even though they are not um, uh, able to do addition and subtraction as fast as they should, I would just go ahead and test them in multiplication, begin teaching that. God forbid they don't learn them, they can always count on their fingers for addition and subtraction, but they can't for multiplication. So fourth grade and above, uh, go straight to giving them the multiplication pretest. Again, um, you have just those simple problems. They answer as many as they can in a minute. And then you go back to the evaluation chart and compare how many they answer on the test with how many they did in the um, writing speed test. Okay. Now, on the evaluation, you'll see if students did more than um, 40 problems in a minute, um, the uh, expectations can continue to go up, um, but uh, they're in they're in good shape, and um, if for their writing, and then you just check to see how how well are they doing with the facts. Once you know, so if a student is uh, adequately fluent with uh, the facts then they can begin doing computation. Uh, if they're not adequately fluent in the facts, please don't uh, work on computation. It's too painful for them. Just help them learn the facts. And you can use either the Rocket Math Worksheet or the online tutor, and there's information here uh, more about those, um, how to use those. However, let's say that you have a student who um, is uh, adequately fluent in addition, um, uh, not so good in subtraction, but they're in the fourth grade, so you're, you test them in multiplication, and you find they need work on that. So you're going to start working with them in multiplication, but um, they could um, do uh, uh, learn to do addition computation. Now, there are a lot of skills in addition computation, so you need the um, you need to give them a pretest to find out. And the same process goes for all four operations, and we're going to get division in here um, in the next couple of days. So you'll see that here. But let me show you how this works. This is the student page. You click on that. Again, you print it out. It just gives them a uh, simple uh, addition computation problems to do. Right, and um, what you do is look at that uh, against the answer key, and the answer key uh, gives you 
tells you the skill for each uh, set of problems and of course the correct answer. So when you look at uh, the work that they do, you're going to begin them wherever they start falling down. Whatever, you know, these are numbered in order. So 1B, 2A, 2B, and C, 2D, and so on. Uh, you're going to start wherever they start having a problem. Now, they get it wrong because of a fax problem. So they add 74 plus 5, and they put 8, and then the 7. Um, that's a fax problem. And um, that's not really what you're concerned about. Facts you're going to do, uh, you know, in fact work. But what you uh, do want to do is, if they don't know um, how to do things, they make mistakes, then um, then you know uh, what. That's where you begin teaching them. So, for instance, if they don't know how to carry or a regroup, so they put down the one and carry the two, or maybe they just put down the two and they add the two two. You know, so they have 42 is an answer they didn't carry. That means this skill is uh, one that they need. So again, when you're looking at them working, uh, the one of the nice things about being a tutor is you can hear and watch. And um, if you see that uh, they start having trouble, don't know how to do these problems, stop them. Um, because you know where to start uh, with the teaching. Okay. You know which skill to begin on. All right. And all of these skills are uh, available in the um, computation program. And um, give you some information about that, um, what goes on. That is one of the learning tracks in the um, Rocket Math Worksheet Program. Uh, there's a video here uh, showing you how to uh, teach this, as well as uh, information where to go and the different skills that are taught in here and how that works. So that should be fairly self-explanatory. Okay, so that is the um, the how to use the pretest. And um, this should be adequate for you to assess the student and figure out where to start, uh, in which operation for facts, and then if they have, uh, if they're solid in facts at, um, say, addition, then you can do this. If they're solid in subtraction, you can go here, and so on. Um, thank you.